had a little panic that I wasn't recording, but I am, so it's fine. Hey, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm jumping into the fifth episode of season two of Good Omens. I'm a little bit upset that I've only got two episodes left, I have to admit. <laughs> And it has actually been probably about a week since I've watched the last episode. So it's probably a good idea just to do a very quick recap, just to kind of refresh my memory about what happened. So the last episode ended with Shax has figured out that Gabriel is actually in a Zerofell shop. And she has spoken to Beelzebub and they've basically given the go ahead for her to invade the shop to find Gabriel, basically. So that's very, very concerning, especially as aziraphale has got some sort of like shop association meeting thing that he's going to be hosting at the shop at some point in the very near future. So I'm guessing the two events are going to collide which is going to be interesting. But um, but yeah, the last episode was the, the magic one where Aziraphale was the magician in the West End on stage back in the Second World War. And it's, it's just, yeah, I'm starting to feel quite concerned for both of them, for both Crowley and Aziraphale at this point. And obviously we've only got two episodes left. And I'm just really hoping that nothing happens to them because Crowley's concern, I think it was at the end of episode three, had me a little bit worried. So yeah... I think probably the best thing to do is just dive in and see where this episode takes us. So with all that being said, this is Good Omens Season 2, Episode 5. And there she is. I'm requisitioning some demons. I can launch a demonic invasion upon London. Right, so uh, how many? 10,000 demons. I'm sorry, no. 10,000? Sorry, I thought you said 10,000. Surely that's a little bit overkill for just one angel. Well, two angels, I guess, and one of them's an archangel. And Crowley. Crowley. Oh, there he is. Hello. Are you actually going through with this? Indeed I am. Can I watch? Oh, that's most appropriate. I'll need you to bring that with you tonight. Oh. Shop Association. At the Whitford Street Traders and Shopkeepers Association monthly meeting this evening. Uh, no thank you. There will be sandwiches. <laughs> Very well. You leave me with no alternative. What if you gave away a book? I had to. Maggie and Nina are depending on... Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say, why is this meeting so important to him? But I guess he's going to use it. For the romance thing. I have authorization from Beelzebub. And you could have authorization from Satan himself, Louis. If I don't have him, I can't send him over. Be a malignant and creeping sense of unease, if you like. <laughs> what are they for? A attacking a bookshop. It does sound a bit silly, doesn't it? Attacking a bookshop. What can I do you gentlemen for? It's about the monthly shopkeepers meeting. It is my wedding anniversary, and I am taking my beloved spouse out to dinner. I have a first edition of S.W. Erdnase's Expert at the Card Table. Is this the magic shop from the last episode, but obviously in modern times? And annotated it. It is. I think. I can promise you, it'll be quite a night. I'm sure it will be. Bravo! What? Just enjoying the show. Ah, perfectly ordinary invitation with no hidden agenda of any kind. Are they going to talk about the Christmas lights? Because I have things to say. Yes. I'll be there. <laughs> He's never hosted a meeting, ever. Why the change of heart? He's discovered his civic obligations. Mm. You've been together long? Who? You and your partner. Oh, no, 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 it's not like that. It certainly looks like that from here. No, you... We, You've got a husband or a boyfriend. Is the book selling your bit on the side? He's not my bit on the side. It's far too pure of heart to be anybody's bit on the side. He's just an angel.
Masks would be provided for those who can't blend in. The big transport is our service. You'll have to use the little transport over one at a time. We'll take the stairs. <laughs> The stairs. I'm pretty sure that was the angel, not angel, the demon from um, the first season when they took the Antichrist and his family to wherever it was that Armageddon was supposed to start. Except it wasn't the Antichrist, they had the wrong one. I think he got blown up then as well. We've got an amnesiac archangel hiding out in your bookshop. I spent last night wondering if he's going to wake up. What if he remembers who he is? What if he's faking it? He could smite me. When Gabriel smites you, you've been... Smited. <laughs> Smitten. Smitten. Have you thought of just talking to him? Actually, I will. everything just the way you want it oh yes mr fowl's been very good to me hasn't he just surprising riff given that the last time you two met you tried to destroy him uh i don't remember that no well mr fell doesn't remember it either he wasn't there you see <clears throat> he wasn't there oh sure yeah i was there the look on your face, Archangel Gabriel, when you told my only friend to shut his stupid mouth and die. And I did not care for it. I don't think that was me, but I am very sorry. I hope I'm not causing him too much trouble now. You're making him risk his entire existence for you. Oh, dear. Is there anything I can do? Oh, yeah. Jump out that window. Alright. Well, if you're really not him, what are you? I feel like an empty house. A house can sort of tell where the things used to be. It hurts to remember. My head isn't built for that. I know. Do it anyway. It's not. I don't have my memory. Well, where is your memory then? In a uh, matchbox. No, I took it out. In the box, and I brought it here. Which is... Downstairs. What else do you remember? The matchbox was the one they found in heaven. What? I don't know, I'm just... Uh... I know. <sighs> do you want a hot chocolate? Yes. Because they found it, didn't they? Any leads on Gabriel? Oh, right. Well, he's definitely not in the shop. Does that count as a lead? It's just a zero fail. He seemed very... Nice. I don't know if it helps, but at one point, Mr. Fell and Mr... I mean, the traitor and the demon had a secret meeting about what to do next. Ah! And? What? What did they say? Oh, I didn't listen. They said it was private. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're really nice. Don't thank me. And I'm not. Nobody believe you anyway. Perhaps you could check in on Nina and Maggie and make sure they are on their way. Shit, is it time? I don't know why you invited me, Mr. Fell. Well, you are a wick for street trader, Mrs. Savage. It's the after-work rush, and there's several regulars going to need seeing to... What exactly is it that they do? They stand on their own two feet. I'm not going to ask. Mr. Fell, where are the seats I dropped off for the meeting? No point. No point? Well, we'd only have to move them away again when the dancing begins, wouldn't we? Dancing? The meeting. I'm not coming. You have to. My partner, Lindsay, has texted and is now my former partner. And I'm buggered if I'm going to talk about the stupid Christmas lights tonight, so I'm going home. I'm going to drink myself senseless. Never going to cry. 
might not be safe. Something's going on. You'll be safer in that. My friend won't let anything happen to you. Choose for once in your life. Trust somebody. You're weird. Ah, do it. Why, my dear, it is Nina, purveyor of coffee for all our needs. Charmed. Hello, would you like to try one of these tiny little dinners? They're free. <laughs> Nina! Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, the dancing's about to begin. I know I'm really upset. Why don't I feel upset? Uh, no long faces tonight. Dancing? Well, it wouldn't be a shopkeeper's association meeting without dancing, would it? Oh shit. Oh god. Who are you? Who sent you? Me? What? Gabriel? Oh fuck. What exactly is your profession? I'm a seamstress. No, I'm not a seamstress. I'm a seamstress. A seamstress. You are a seamstress? No, I'm not a benighted seamstress. I'm a godforsaken seamstress. Why can I not say the word seamstress? <laughs> Perhaps if you were to describe the profession. Oh dear. When a gentleman finds himself in want of the tender attentions of a wife, he may betake himself to my establishment and there have his pick of a fine stable of ladies, all able and willing to mend his shirt. <laughs> or even sew on a button. A seamstress. What are you doing? I told you. Jane Austen. We're having a ball. Oh. Why is everyone talking like they've escaped from Pride and Prejudice? Just getting into the spirit of things, I suppose. Which is their fault. They're doing this. They can't go in, can they, with unless they're... Ugh, I can't speak. They can't go in unless they're invited, I think. They're little pieces of food, and I'm not selling them. I'm giving them away. Then we must indulge ourselves. Oh. Brave Terrier World, you shall want another one presently. <laughs> it is seldom indeed that our little village has the fortune to welcome one so amiable, if you will allow me, sir, so well made in form and feature. This, it's neat, isn't it? I'm still working out all the things it can do. I discovered a new one in bed last night. Oh no. <laughs> would you like me to show you? Oh, no. <laughs> Confess you interest us strangely. Watch, watch. Oh God. Okay, that was better than I thought. There's <laughs> something really wrong. Well, perhaps you could tell me while we dance. We don't dance. <laughs> Doors opening. Oh. How sweet. They're having a party. Not having a very good day. My partner, Lindsay, has gone. Was it my fault? It's too Sarah and Valley Crowley in the background. Crowley. Coming for a long time. I don't think Lindsay actually liked me very much. I think you're overestimating how much trouble we're actually in. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. I'll surrender the angle. Yeah, um... Send out Gabriel. Nobody gets too badly hurt. Out of the question. Might I remind you that this bookshop is technically an independent embassy? You're an outlaw, as it were. You have no protection. I have a legion of demons by my side. And I have no intention of harming you. Only the humans here with you. Shit. Excuse me. This is all because of me, isn't it? Those people. 
What, me? You came to me. I said I would protect you. And I will. You don't need to. I'm going out. Gabriel is apparently me. Get back in there right now. And you tell that ass, Aziraphale, and that arch traitor, Curly, that unless they send out the angel, Gabriel, now, they're toast. T O S T. Toast. Oh, fuck it out. <sighs> that is a fabulous coat. We do a miracle to make sure nobody knows it's him. Now nobody knows it's him. Nice one, us. Excuse me, Mr. Phil. Who are these people? 20 seconds, Angel. Shit. We can definitely hurt them whilst battling angels. Oh! Oh, are you saying this is officially sanctioned? That this attack is consistent with the rules of engagement? Well, is or isn't it? Were you given official permission to launch this attack? I'm not stupid. I have permission. Standard rules of engagement clause 112 subsection 3. Civilian non-combatants must be given sufficient time to evacuate the area of hostilities. Get your pews out of there, Ben. Right, I just made up a rule that is stupid to check. I'm getting the humans out of here and let them come back. I won't leave you on your own. I know, but I have a suggestion. I've got this. Oh, no. If you do exactly what I tell you, nobody's going to get hurt. I don't know what's actually going on, but I am going to deal with it. Excuse me. Oh, that might get messy. <clears throat> oh, God. I don't know why you think it's appropriate to disrupt a meeting of the Wickford Street Traders and Shopkeepers Association. Dance. Not a meeting. You were dancing. I'm calling the emergency services. Really? What's the boundary line of this place? The door frame. You can't cross it. <laughs> We just did. Get the rest of them out now. What's happening? Um, it's a bit complicated, but um, you'd probably best you forget all about it and, and, and do whatever Mr. Crowley suggests. Wait. Are you trying to hypnotize me? Is that what's happening here? You're doing something to us. I'm trying to save your lives. Right, everyone line up, two by two. Nina, Maggie, you take the rear. Maggie, come on. I'm not leaving him to face them on his own. Nina, are you coming? No. Staying behind to die bravely. Good on you. Have you got your hand? I've got more than that, love. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> Keep your head down. Don't move. I don't know why, but I thought he was going to, like, teleport them out of there or something. Why didn't you go? I want to know what's happening. You're in danger. You're in trouble. And we aren't leaving you on your own. We aren't in danger. Crowley will be back in a moment. He will have a plan. Why don't you stand up for yourself? Make your own plans. I am. But rescuing me makes him so happy. <laughs> Officer, I need to report a crime. Oh, uh... No, arrest me. What? Like I said, put on the cuffs. I'll go quietly. I'm not actually Inspector Constable, a human law enforcement officer. You're an angel. I know. That's why I'm surrendering to you. I'm a demon. With knowledge of a crime against heaven, I demand that you arrest me. We don't have much time. It's all right, officer. I'll come quietly. Come where? Heaven. Why is he going to heaven? You aren't trying to trick me, are you? You're arresting me. Why would I be trying to trick you? I mean, he's obviously been there before because that's where he fell from. And when him and Crowley, uh, Aziraphale switched places in the last season. I am waffling because I'm nervous. <laughs> Is he getting, going to get help? Fuck. Oh. God. Right. 
I I was in two minds as to whether to watch the next episode today or to leave it, but I'm going to be watching the next episode today. Like, in a second, actually. <laughs> that episode just killed me, but in a good way, but also in a bad way. Like, oh. It was really nice, like most of the episode was actually really nice and like feely, but in the best way. So you had Crowley, and I don't know why my pronunciation of Crowley kept going back to Crowley after having gone through two seasons calling him Crowley, but there we go. Um, obviously the big bit that got me was when Aziraphale told Gabriel that he was going to protect him and then Gabriel was just like gonna sacrifice himself and and then obviously seeing him outside with the big fluffy white coat was just absolutely hilarious and it was just like so many mixed emotions was like crying because it was lovely that he wanted to actually give himself up but also yeah it was just really funny <laughs> but yeah just lots of really really touching moments and there's so many of them i can i'm trying to think of all the different ones and i can't like there was the there was the moments between the two women who I can't remember the name of. Nina, that was her name. That's one of the women's names. The bit when Nina mistook Aziraphale and Crowley as, as a couple and Crowley just looked really, like, not disturbed in a bad way, but, like, flustered almost. And I just wanted to hug him. I mean, I want to hug him most of the time, but you know what I mean? <laughs> and I don't know, it was just a very, very feel-good episode, like, all around. Just, like, it felt... I want to say it felt Christmassy. That's the wrong word, but, like... The shop, the party, or you know, the the meeting in the shop just felt very like cozy and warm and nice, and the whole vibe of the episode kind of gave off that feeling. You know, even though there were demons outside trying to kill everyone and and all the other stuff that was going on, it was just I don't know. I think that has got to be up there with one of my favourite episodes out of the two seasons. Honestly, that was that was really really good. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this up now because I really want to jump into the last episode and find out what happens. I mean, I don't actually, but I do. Like, I don't because I don't want to finish the season and Good Omens overall, but I do want to see what happens. As always, if you've enjoyed this reaction, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out the full length version, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Thank you.